Hello, I am the Mastermind. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a little new segment I'm going to call Must See Movies. Um, this first one is, uh, well, there's no first one. This is it. Um, the director of Paranormal Activity did this, and I really fucking like this. And, you know, for some reason, if this was any other movie, if this was filmed in, like, your ordinary urban setting, I would I would not like it that much. It, it would have been your basic, ordinary kind of thriller with a twist at the end. Um, but where this was filmed, Chernobyl Diaries, and this was really filmed on location um, at uh, Pripyat, which is the Russian city about like a half mile, not even that, away from the Chernobyl power plant that blew up in 1986. And they really filmed this there, which is really exciting to me because I've never really seen, I, I've seen pictures of, you know, of course, but I've never actually seen a movie that went there and actually did it, which I thought that was really interesting. Um, I've always been fascinated by the whole, the whole Chernobyl and Pripyat. I thought that was really neat how they did that. And, uh, it, you know, apparently that it, it's kind of safe to go there now, I, I guess. Apparently that the, the radiation is at a low enough level to where you can stay there for like a day or... Well, I'm sure they spent a while there filming, but... Um, so, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I really, I really like this fucking movie. You know, a lot of people hated it, but I don't, I don't really get it why they hated it. I mean, you know, everyone, everybody has their own opinions or whatever. But uh, this is basically about uh, a group of friends, and you know, they, the this one, one of the, one, one of the guys in the group, you know, is going to meet his brother in Kiev, which is a, a city in Russia or Ukraine. I'm not sure where. I think it's in Ukraine. Is basically Russia. It's just a, like a state in Russia, or like a, it's another country, but it's in Russia. Um, you know, they they go and meet up with his brother, and you know they're all gonna go to Moscow. But his brother has this idea of, hey, you know, fuck that. Let's go to let's go to fucking Chernobyl, because he he made he met this guy, this Russian um, tour guide named Yuri. And Yuri in this movie is awesome. I really like this guy's character. He's a great character. You fall in love with him almost instantly because he's like such a cool, laid back, like easy going character. And uh, yeah, he's automatically you think he's a badass because he's just he's in the special forces and the Ru in the Russian military, and he's this cool, awesome fucking tour guide. And um, you know he takes him. He takes him to uh, he takes him to Pripyat, but you know he goes to this. Uh, he kind of uh, he kind of think that he kind of realize that he probably pays the guards off to get in there. Um, but uh, he goes to the, one of the checkpoints to get in, and they tell him they can't go in. So you know everybody's like, "What the fuck?" So they go back, and he goes back into this. A bandit checkpoint that nobody's been at for probably years, and uh, they basically go into Pripyat, and you know they start sightseeing and seeing everything and <clears throat> having a good old time. And it's really interesting seeing all the buildings and everything. It's just really kind of eerie. Um, but that's what made this really creepy. I think is just the the. The location. This was filmed in, you know, Chernobyl, where it all happened, and uh, I thought it was really cool. And uh, you know, it's not the best movie ever made. I know, I understand that, but it, it's just really cool for what this is. And um, and then you know, they go out, they go to start the van up after the tour is over, and then what do you know? Van don't start. Fucking wires are cut. You know, everybody starts getting pissed off and yelling at each other, you know. And I can't tell you much after that. Just shit starts going down. Um, 
this movie is really fucking awesome. It really is. I really like this. A lot of people hated it, like I said, but, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, I guess. Um, the actors in this, Jesse McCartney, he, he's in this, and I think he's in a couple other horror things, I think. Uh, I just saw him in a movie a couple days ago or yesterday, actually. Um, this is really awesome. It really is. Like I said, if this was filmed in any other location, like an urban, like in a suburban setting, or like in a city, a regular city, I probably would not have liked this near as much as I did with this. Uh, it was really neat. It was, it really was. And I really suggest if you guys haven't seen this, go check it out. Um, I can't really find this anywhere nowadays, but uh, I don't know. You guys probably find it on Amazon. I got this when it came out. Um, they're gonna. I'm pretty sure. I hear. I hear they're gonna be making a sequel. Uh, but uh, you know, this does have a twist ending to it. So if you like the kind of movies that have a twist, sort of, you might like this one. It's not all horror. It's basically them trying to get out of the city. But you know, there's other shit going on. They there's shit following them and stuff. I don't want to get. I don't really don't want to explain too much about that without ruining it. But this is definitely one to check out. I, I give this a fucking 8. I give this an easy 8 out of 10 just because of it was awesome to where this was located at. Um, so, yeah, I always love watching this. I watched this like, I actually watched this twice last night. I've watched this probably 12 times since I bought it. Uh, I do like it that much. But, uh, and it's pretty entertaining. And, I yeah, it's I understand it's not the best ever made. I mean, it does have a problems and stuff, but um, some of the CGI they use in this is really quite bad, but like they only use the CGI like probably once for, for the most part. It's pretty much practical. Um, the CGI they used was a fucking radioactive bear that ran across the apartment building. But that, that fucking CGI was pretty bad. I don't know what they were thinking there. But other than that, and this is a direct-to-DVD Direct the direct the video. This wasn't in theaters, so it's kind of a B movie. I think it's a B style. Uh, no, it's Warner Brothers. But uh, yeah, definitely go check this out, guys. If, if, or if you haven't, if you've already seen this, tell me what you thought of it, because I really enjoyed this. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. And remember, you've had a good time with the Mastermind.